So hello and welcome to this week's angling blog. This week you join me out on the bank and we're in search of pike. Today, my birthday, is a day where I'm just going to sit back, chill out. You can say we're on a brand new water. Chose nice simple tactics. We've got a drifted float. We've got that quite close in, just over the shelf. And that is on a bream. We'll take a look at that in a minute. The other rod on a ledger. I've got it round about here and we've got that on a roach. It is quite weedy, but I'm hoping that roach is going to naturally pop up for me and just sit above that weed. That's the tactics that we're starting with. And like I say, really chilled out blog today. It's a beautiful morning to be on the bank. With the rods out, the first thing we've done, get the kettle on. We make Gaddy, you can probably hear his alarm in the next peg. So he's just behind them trees there. I'll go and get his cup in a minute and we'll get a brew on but yeah on your birthday out on the bank fishing you can't whack that for the view can you like with all sessions with pike my target is one pike and especially on a new water it'll be a mega bonus today but it is a huge water as you can see it goes right round here and then there's a bay at the back as well so there's loads of water where Mr. Pike could be hiding. You've just got to hope today that one of them is in front of you. So hopefully at some point today we get a pike time between us. But for now, it's brew time. First one of the day. I'm going to sit back and just watch that view. Would you just look at that view? Let's take a quick look at the baits that we brought with us today. Being a new venue, I have brought quite a variety. So we've got some heaving with us, got some skimmer bream, nice and shiny, with the venue being clear, I did know it was coming to a clear venue. So nice shiny baits, but different sizes. We've got some roach, again, you can naturally pop them up, so do have the benefits. Not knowing the range that we'd have to go, I've got some eel sections there, so what they're good for is if you really want to punch out a bait and a ledger, you can really put them on the tough skinned and they'll go far. Wouldn't be without my trusty smelt. Got some more roach and then the bait that's been good for me on the river. And piking is all about confidence. We've got a Joey mackerel, but because the venue hasn't got much colour in, I'm going with visuals today. And for those wondering, I'm not putting oil on my baits. I'm relying on the pike visually feeding. It's a clear venue. So I think the more you cast, the flutter of a bait is better than any oil you can put on because then pike are looking and on the feed. Well, that's just a selection of baits that I've got with me today. And as we do more sessions on here, you'll probably see that reduce a bit as we begin to work the venue out. But for the first session, what we've give ourselves is options. So I was just sat back having me brew <laughs> and that float darted under and we're into the first pike of the day just coming on that float fished um bream you see there the weed in the water and how clear it is that's the first one in the net and we just need one more and we'll have two happy anglers there we go proper proper made up to get off the mark did want to get a shot against the lake but it's far too dark on the peg for that. Out on the banks today with my mate Gaddy and hopefully we can get one more and leave two happy anglers. But I do all this capture to him. That bait was on a drifted bait and it's something that I never do and I should do more often. It's a tactic that Gaddy does really well and yeah, I've done it today and it's paid off. So just a quick look at the pipe before it goes back. You see those beautiful colours. You see it's got quite a large lump on it there, which maybe it'd only be a single without it. <laughs> but look at the beautiful colours. And for the first pike from a venue, proper, proper made up. So with the rod out of the water, we'll take a look at the tactics for today. Got my Fox Predator, any dead bait rod, 12 foot, 3.25 pound test curve. I've got one of the Corum Zelos reels, and on there I've got 60 pound braid. So up the line I've got two float stops, two beads, just to know when the float's cocked up to it. And we've got one of the high vis 
Predator darts in 50 grams. That's down to one of the quick change weights, so that's a 35 gram weight. I've got a quick change swivel. That is down to my homemade wire trace and a bit different hooking setup. I've got a hook in the back and one down the flank because I want the bait to sit in the water naturally like that. And that's how the bait was when I just got that pike. Fishing off bottom, just above the weed. And like I say, just off that drop off. Well, the first half of me brew was quite warm. The second half is going to be cold. But do I care? Do I not? Sat back up here again now. Because you've got a nice view of the lake. And you can see the float just behind that tree there. I could sit here and say it was amazing watercraft or anything like that. I literally found the drop off and just cast it in. Proper, proper made up though. It gives you confidence for future sessions and hopefully where there's one, there's more. And if you're out this weekend, cheers and tight lines. And that is what you call being looked after on your birthday. Two bacon rolls, or do you call them baps or cobs? Leave in the comments down below. And yeah, sitting back, a cold brew, and a bit of scram. So the float's just gone again, and hopefully we can get another pike. So the curse of YouTube, reaching in my pocket to grab my phone to record the battle. Let the tension go on the rod and miss the pike come off. Let's get it back out there and hopefully there's one or two more out there. So today is my birthday, like I've said, and I am a year older. And I think as you get older, losing fish, you do deal with differently. You quickly get over it and realise, unless you're going to jump out there now in scuba game and try and catch the pike, there's nothing you can do to change it. You've got to take the positives, you've got to bite, the tactics worked get the rod back out there and try and remain confident. So one bonus of using a heavy setup like you're seeing us use for piking is you can be your friendly water cleanup crew. Another lead for the collection and a whole load of line that's no longer in the water. So my good deed for the day is done. So we're just coming up to midday now. There's a bit of rain moving in. Conditions look perfect. Got grey overcast skies. Made one slight tactical change, you might notice there's another float out there now on exactly the same setup on a bream because what's working there hopefully will work there and we can begin to just explore this water now because we were on the ledger just about out there so yeah we've got two floats out now so hopefully double the chances but we all know that's not how piking works is it? <laughs> The other thing to mention as well is one of the things that's really important for me and me fishing is a connection with the water. You don't get that with every water, you know, a feeling of enjoying being beside it. And today, definitely feel like I could come back here again and just feel that connection with the water. It's nice, peaceful, quiet, chilled place to be. So we'll definitely, definitely be back. So Gary's just got his first pike of the day and if you look down its mouth there you see loads of tiny fish actively feeding, it's in great condition and we'll have a look in a minute but you can see that he's most definitely hunting the fry. Here we go, there's Gary with his prize, a lot of effort got into it, he's moved pegs, been working the lure and then on them drifted tactics, it's working so well. It's a beautifully conditioned pike but look at the lovely colours on that. It's a beautiful fish. And we don't normally film Gary's pike because they have a habit of coming off when we start filming. But I think this one, the way it went off is well and truly on. And that is a beautiful pike. Well in matey, that's a beauty that. Well done mate. And there we go. Effort equals reward. Then conditions change, the clouds come over. We were just having a quick chat about how the session's gone and that flow absolutely bolted away it was like a cart run sometimes you know you take inspiration from others and that for me has got the fire burning for this venue look at the lovely colors on it that's a lovely fish mate well done
and all the pike have been in amazing condition i've got to say you know not a thin out of place that first one had that lump but it was healthy wasn't it and i really 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 enjoyed today on the bank it's had everything i've wanted on a birthday day out fish food friends it's what it's all about and when you look at the pike in the water you just see how beautiful they are that camouflage sat in that weed couldn't resist that bait over the top happy happy danny we're coming right into the witching hour now and to end the session out it's been great fun just sat here with gary and we've been having a, a rainbow picture taking competition <laughs> it started off as one rainbow which was the best picture then it ended up as a full rainbow <laughs> and then no sooner as we got that one the double rainbow come into it and i guess that's a beautiful way to end a lovely day on the bank if i get any more pike you'll see them at the end of the video but apart from that i want to wish you all tight lines in your own fishing it's been really good today being out on the bank on a new venue and proves that even as you get older you can still learn plenty of lessons tight lines in your own fishing and i'll catch you all next week